Welcome to Calendar Time. I'm so glad that you joined me. I hope that you come back every Monday and Wednesday. We'll learn about the months of the year, the days of the week, place value, counting money, skip counting, weather and graphing, and so much more. Sunday, Monday, what comes next? Tuesday, Wednesday, you know the rest. Thursday and Friday is nearly the end until Saturday. Start of the weekend. Yeah! In January and February, we're starting the year. March and April, spring is here. July and August, we're soaking up the sun. Autumn breeze in September and October too. November, remember thankfulness and December. The year is through. It's calendar time. We're in the month of August right now. August is in the season of summer. August has 31 days in it. Do you know what today is? The date for today? Today is Monday. Monday, August 16th, 2021. Do you know what yesterday was? Yesterday is the day before today. Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Sunday, August 15th, 2021. What about tomorrow? Do you know what tomorrow will be? Tomorrow is the day after today. Today is Monday, so tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tuesday, August 17th, 2021. Let's count down from 16 together. Starting at 16, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can you help me count up from 16? 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Our number today is the number 16. Did you know that we can write the number 16 in different ways? The way it's written on our calendar, a 1 and a 6, 16, is called standard form. That's the normal way that you see 16. We can also write 16 in word form. That means to spell it out with letters. 16. That's 16 in word form. We can also split 16 into the place value. The tens place, we have 110, 10, and the ones place, 6, 6 ones, 10, plus six. That's expanded form. 10 plus six is 16 in expanded form. The last way that we could write 16 is by its ordinal number. That's like when we say that's the 16th day of August. 16th. Putting that little on the end makes it an ordinal number. Today's number is 16. 
It's the 16th day of August. Now, let's use our coins to make 16 cents. We'll have to think about what each type of coin we have is worth. Pennies are sometimes the easiest to use. Do you remember how much a penny is worth? A penny is worth one cent. One cent. Can we count by ones to get to 16? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I'm running out of space. I'm going to have to start putting some pennies behind. 13, 14, 15, 16. That's a lot of pennies to make 16 cents. 16 pennies. Pennies may be easiest to count out and use, but pennies you have to use a lot of. We could use a coin worth more so that we don't have to use so many coins. Do you know how much a nickel is worth? A nickel is worth five cents. So instead of five pennies, we can use one nickel. We'll have to count by fives to use nickels. Let's count by fives and try to get to 16 cents. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. <gasps> twenty is too much. We'll have to put one nickel back. Five, ten, fifteen. We're at fifteen cents with nickels, but that's not enough. We're trying to get to our number sixteen we'll need to use one penny to get the rest of the way to 16. 15, 16. That definitely used less coins than using all pennies. Two ways to make 16 cents. What's the weather like where you are today? We're having a beautiful sunny day out. We're going to put sunny on a weather pictograph. A pictograph is a graph where you use pictures to represent an amount. Now, if you would like to make your own weather graph, you can go down to the description below. Click on the link, print out a weather graph of your own, and keep track of the weather where you are on a pictograph. Let's add Sunny to our weather pictograph. My graph is titled Weather for the Months of August, September, October, and November. We're going to be keeping track of the weather for calendar time on this pictograph for four months. Down on the bottom of the graph, it shows us the different types of weather we might see. Rainy, sunny, cloudy, partly cloudy, windy, and snowy. Going up on the left side, it has numbers on our graph. Each number represents one day that we've had a specific type of weather. Today is a sunny day. So we're going to draw a sun above sunny. One sunny day of weather. Every day that we have calendar time, we're going to add to our doodle bug and we can keep track of how many days we've had calendar time together. Do you think we can make it 
all the way to 100? I think that we can. One day of calendar time means one on our doodle bug. We can also add one straw for one day of calendar time. One straw means we have a one in our ones place. We have zero tens and zero hundreds. Only one, one day that we've had calendar time just today. Now, every day when we do calendar time, we're going to look at what happened that day in history. Either a holiday or an event that happened a long time ago. Let's look what happened today in history. On August 16th, 1858, Britain's Queen Victoria telegraphed U.S. President James Buchanan for the first time by transatlantic telegraph cable. A well-insulated telegraph line had been laid across the floor of the Atlantic Ocean. President Buchanan said, It is a triumph more glorious because far more useful to mankind than was ever won by conqueror on the field of battle. President Buchanan called the first transatlantic telegraph a triumph, a success, a victory. Have you ever been successful or had victory in something? Maybe when you finished a race or completed a paper or read an entire big book. Today, Monday, August 16th, 2021, we've triumphed. We've been successful in finishing our first day of calendar time. And I hope that you continue to come back every Monday and Wednesday. Let's triumph and be successful and get all the way to 100. Go check the calendar and you can say what month it is and the day.